Hi, I'm Elizabeth Smith, and in this video, I'm going to share some details about my Rosanna cardigan design. This cardigan is knit seamlessly from the top down and has raglan construction. So that means that we're going to start at the neck and work our way all the way down to the hem. One of the little design elements I included are these mini chevron eyelet stitches that you see going down both of the fronts as well as on the back of the neck. I also have a separate video that walks you through exactly how to make those motifs if you're new to any kind of eyelet stitch. The body also features some A-line shaping. So the uh, bust circumference is about three inches less than the hem circumference. And the body length can easily be adjusted to be shorter or longer depending on your desired fit. The front bands are created using the pick up and knit technique and I made them buttonless for a more opened uh, layered look. But you can easily add buttonholes if you prefer to have some closure. And on my Rosanna tips page, I include some tips on exactly how you can do this. The short sleeves are on the fuller side and they're about elbow length for a bit of more upper arm coverage. This way you can wear a short sleeve tee underneath if you would like. But you can also make the sleeves longer or a bit shorter if you prefer. The stitch gauge of Rosanna is five and a half stitches to the inch. So a yarn that's classified as either sport or DK weight will work well for this design. I used Newest Sport by Stolen Stitches, which is a merino yak linen blend. This blend of fibers helps to provide softness and drape, but because there's merino in it as well, it also helps the garment to keep its shape well. But Rosanna is super versatile and would work well with any blend of fibers. You can check out my Rosanna tips page for pictures of other types of yarn used to make this sweater. The Rosanna pattern has 10 sizes, which range in finished bust circumference of 33 inches up to 60 inches. And when I say finished bust circumference, it means with the front bands overlapping, like this. I suggest picking a size whose finished bust circumference is approximately one to four inches larger than your actual bust circumference, depending on the kind of fit that you would like for your sweater. Since the original design is buttonless, meaning it's gonna be worn more in this open style anyway, you can get away with a little less positive ease than you would if, um, if it was a closure, because you don't have to worry about it closing at either the bust or down at the hips. I hope going over some of these details of the Rosanna cardigan have been helpful. For additional tips, tutorials, and videos to make your own Rosanna, make sure to visit my Rosanna tips page, which I'll make sure to put the link for that as well as the pattern information below. Happy knitting!